In 2020, with COVID-19 as a backdrop, I used a little known app called Lose It to help me shed 40 pounds. In this video, I'm gonna do a brief recap of the app, show you some of its most beneficial features, and give you some tips to unlock its true potential to help you finally shed those pounds. Let's get to it. So what exactly is Lose It? Well, it's a calorie and fitness tracking app. Think of it as a food journal, as well as a calorie tracker and a fitness tracker all rolled into one. So as we can see per the website, Lose It is basically weight loss made easy. It allows you to set your goals, track your food, lose weight. And from firsthand experience, I know that it allows you to track things such as your water, your macronutrients, such as your proteins, carbs, and more. It has device integration, so you can connect it with your Apple Health and Google Fit devices. You can see patterns, trends, and reports. It has the scanning feature as well as the smart camera feature. The benefit of the app is that it simplifies the tracking of calories and what you eat, especially if you're trying to specifically monitor something. This could be something like just monitoring your calories in versus calories out to create a deficit, or it could be something that's medical related that you need to track, such as your sodium intake because you have high blood pressure, or your carbohydrate or sugar intake because you're diabetic. So how exactly does the app work? Well, through its massive database of food and food items, it allows you to quickly enter in your food as well as the associated information. And we'll be heading to the kitchen a little bit later so I can really show you the power of this thing. But just know that you don't have to have an app, you can also use this on a desktop computer. Now, if you're interested in the app, you can simply just visit loseit.com, scroll down to the very bottom of the page, and you'll be able to find links where you can go ahead and download it from either the App Store or Google Play. But make sure you keep watching to the end of this video as I have a special link to share with you for a very exclusive free trial. So what are the features that make this app so awesome? Well, first it allows you to set your goals and you can change them on the fly if you need to. So there's two versions of Lose It. There's the free version or basic and then there's the paid version which is premium. And premium basically unlocks some things for you. So in the free version, you can set goals such as how much your daily caloric intake is going to be, as well as a weight goal that you would like to hit. Now you can set goals around macronutrients such as protein, carbs, sugars, fats, all of those things in the paid version. The paid version also unlocks you setting goals such as sleep, exercise, water intake, and it also allows you to plan your meals in advance. Now, the second thing that makes this app so cool is that it gives you advice on what your caloric budget should be every single day. And it does this by when you set up the app, putting in your height, your weight, as well as the goal time for when you want to hit your goal. And basically what the app then does is then it recommends how many calories you should eat per day in order to have the appropriate weight loss so that you can hit your goal by your desired date. Now the fourth thing that's so cool about this thing is that because it's in your phone, it goes with you everywhere, which makes tracking easy. As I mentioned, it has a huge database of food, so you can track things that have a barcode, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit, as well as restaurant foods. So just think of it. Jared goes and eats at McDonald's, you go eat at McDonald's, I've already put the food in and the calories and the nutrients, all you do is type McDonald's hamburger or cheeseburger, and boom, it pops up, all you have to do is click on it easy peasy. I mentioned the barcode and we're going to talk about the scanning feature, but this thing is super awesome and super, super quick. If it has a barcode, you can go ahead and scan it and get the information for the food that you're about to consume into the app very easily and quickly. Another thing that's good about the app is that it begins to recognize patterns. So when you eat certain foods that cause you to stay on track, it will highlight those and let you know, hey, if you eat cheese or if you eat pretzels, you tend to stay on track with your calorie budget. And just recognizing those things will help you in your goal. One of the other beneficial things about it is, like I said, it tracks your activity. Now, the database is huge and you can put in anything such as cycling or running or elliptical. But if you have a fitness tracker, such as a Garmin, well, I've got two Garmin's, <laughs> one for running <laughs> and one for cycling. But if you have a Garmin, it will allow you to import that activity automatically without you doing anything. Okay, so now we've made it over into the kitchen and what we're going to do is we're going to use the Lose It app to help us look at all these lovely food items and determine exactly what their calorie count is. So let's get to it. Okay. So we have various things that are sitting out in front of us. 
some of which have labels, some of which don't. And I'm gonna show you how this app is so, so super cool. So when I come into the app, so it tells me I've got 1800 calories, that's my budget. And apparently today I have not logged anything. All right, so let's just hypothetically say that we're going to do breakfast. So this is a listing of all the foods that I have eaten before. So I can say that I wanted to do, let's say French fries or fried green tomatoes or fried pickles. And because I've eaten fried pickles before, it says, hey, 300 calories and I just say yep that's what I want to do and then if I said done it would go ahead and it would put those in now I actually didn't eat fried pickles so I can just easily delete that food so we're gonna pick something else we're gonna look at these items so if I go up here to key it gives me this little icon down here and if I do that it's gonna to attempt to scan so let's pick this It scanned the barcode and it says chipotle peppers, nine slices, 30 calories. And what does the label say? 30 calories. So I would just simply say add. I said that I'm a vegetarian, so what happens if I have vegetables? It scans my mini sweet peppers. Now, let's say that the item is not packaged, so I don't have a barcode. What do I do? Apples and cinnamon Quaker oatmeal. So I just would type in apple, and these are using my food, so I can actually go apple, cinnamon, see oatmeal, instant packet apples and cinnamon Quaker, and I would do one pack instead of the two that I usually eat, and it tells me 160, and I know that's right. And then if I say done, it will tell me that I've consumed 224 calories and then it's a little hard to see but 1596 under budget I still have 499 left for lunch 698 for dinner now like I said I can track other things such as my weight I can log that I can log my water so I can say I had two cups of water and I actually have a water goal I can log my steps, sleep, and other things. I personally track my blood pressure. So as you can see, this app has many different things that it can calculate and track. I can change from calories. Me personally, I'm tracking sodium. So I could say that I'm at 500 milligrams of a 1500 milligram budget, so I'm 1000 under. If I look at my goals, my goal is to lose one pound per week. And we can see that over the course of a year that you know I'd lost 30 something pounds because when this a year ago I was apparently 212 um, yesterday I was 182 and my goal is 175 and then my other goals I have goals related to my body fat my water intake which you can see right there my sodium intake which apparently I have not been doing well <laughs> and how many calories I'm supposed to exercise per week. My goal is 3,000 calories of exercise per week. And my goal for sleep, seven hours, and blood pressure. So as you can see, this app allows you to track many, many different things. I can see what my, I can see how I've done today, as well as how I've done prior to today. This week has been a bad week because of the holiday. And I can also go and see the blogs, nutrition, and other tips all within the app so what are some of the things that you can get on desktop you can of course get all of your data so we can see how many calories I consumed in a particular meal we can look at a glance and see how much weight that I've lost we can get various insights in terms of food insights how a person is doing against their budget various patterns, so I do a good job of fitting cheese into my plan. We can see summaries, such as my weekly summary and how I've been doing for the week. So I was 2,700 calories under my weekly budget during this particular week. We can see graphs and how we're doing against various goals. So what my starting weight was, what my goal weight is, what my calorie budget is, and then what my target goal date is based off of height, weight, caloric intake, and exercise. 
we can see I have exercise goals, health, such as blood pressure, sodium intake, and sleep. And then we can also see what my weight trended over the course of time. Lose It also has this very cool feature of awarding you badges to keep you motivated. So we can see when I hit the five pound club, 10 pound, 25 pound club, when I connected my device, Die Hard, so I've logged every day for at least 52 weeks. Just earned that one on December the 27th. And then it will tell you what the next badges are that you may potentially earn. Under community, we have messages. I could have friends. I could find a group. And then here, there's also challenges. So you can have, there's looks like there's the healthy 2021 challenge. Your individual challenge is to earn the most points between January 1 and the end of the year. So that's to have a whole healthy 2021, losing 40 pounds, 15 and three, so lose 15 pounds in three months. Looks like there's a 3% weight loss challenge for January. So the question is going to be, should you use the free version or should you use the premium version? I use both versions, free and premium. I used the free version for the first 11 months of my 40 pound weight loss journey. And then I used premium for the last month to give me that extra added boost and edge in getting to my goals. Now the free version is just that, it's absolutely free. And premium at the time of this video is approximately $39.99 per year. But be advised, Lose It does run promotions in which they discount it. So I think that I actually got it for $19.99 and it was on Black Friday as a Black Friday promotion and discount. Now with the premium version, as I said, you unlock the ability to track various things that you can't do in the free version, as well as plan out your meals, which is very beneficial. So as we get ready to wrap up, I've got three tips that are essential for you to truly unlock the potential of this app. The first thing, you have to track everything that you put in your mouth. And yes, I do mean everything. It was one of the keys to my success. You have to track your food for it to work and you have to know how much you're really consuming. Let's be honest, we as humans tend to underestimate everything. We underestimate how much we weigh, we underestimate how much we spend, and the same is true with how much we consume in calories. Not tracking everything that I consumed was part of the reason why I gained all that weight over the years. Thinking that it was only X calories when it was really Y. Not counting certain pieces of food, like, oh, that mint doesn't count. Oh, I had a little bit of soda, that doesn't count. Wrong, all those things matter. Every single calorie matters, and that's why you've gotta track it. Now, I've been using a food journal since 2005 to help me track how much I eat. But the thing was is that it was in a spreadsheet. So at the end of the day, sometimes I would forget to include something, or I just didn't log until very late or if things got really busy during work, then it could be a couple of days before I would actually do it. Having the app and having the phone makes it instantaneous. You do have to create the habit, but it makes it that much easier for you to actually monitor the exact amount, okay, close to the exact amount, because calorie counting is not exact, but close to the exact amount of what you're actually consuming. So a little side tip is that you just have to get used to actually tracking it. So when you eat or before you eat your meal, if you're out, you just simply put in your calories, put in your information and boom, you're done. And like I said, if you're going to have a special meal, so if I know that I'm gonna go out for my anniversary or something like that, then I plan that meal or put that meal in. I might go to the restaurant's website, look at their menu and pick out what I'm gonna eat. I'm a vegetarian, so I have to be very specific in what I can eat, where I go out, unless I get sick. That's another story. Anyway, I would go to the website, look at the menu, look at what it was that I wanted to eat, put that in, or a rough approximation of it, and then I could say, oh, well, if I'm going to eat 1,600 calories and my budget is only 1,700, then I've got a problem. That means I'm eating nothing for earlier in the day or I'm gonna go and work out. And that's usually what I would do. I would go and burn an additional 1,700 calories riding my bike around all of Chicago and Indiana to make sure that I have enough of a deficit to compensate for the fact that I'm going to eat heavier later on. So the app allows you to plan and good planning will help you stay on goal and help you reach your goal. The second thing that I recommend you do is that you set small goal. My initial goal was 50 pounds and then it got revised to 40 pounds, but I didn't plug in 40 pounds in the app when I first started. I said that I wanted to lose 10 pounds. And as I got to that goal, it made it more achievable for me versus saying, oh, I've got 40 pounds. I would hit the 10 pounds, got that goal, 
Lose it would give me a little bad, saying that I had accomplished it, and then I would go in and revise my goal. The third thing that I recommend is you have to exercise. You have to move, okay? And you don't have to be like me riding around 6,000 miles in a year. Yes, I really rode 6,000 miles in a year. But you do have to be active, and it can be small. 30 minutes of activity, three times, four times per week is all you need to get started. But you gotta get active. Cutting calories is not enough. It's actually a recipe for disaster for actually killing your metabolism. Don't do it. But make sure that you exercise and make sure that you move. Now, if you're interested in a free trial of the premium version, then check the description below in this video for a special link that will allow you to do just that. Now, if you don't want a free trial of the premium version, there's a different link in which you can just simply click on that and go and get the free version. Or I could just tell you, just go to loser.com and then just sign up for free. That works too. So that's my review of the Lose It app. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up so that others can find it just like you did. Also, feel free to check out my other video where I show my 40 pound time lapse loss from all the work that I did with Lose It. That and riding the bike. If you'd like to share your progress on your weight loss journey, then feel free to enter it in the comments below. Not only would I be interested in learning about your journey, but I'm sure that everybody who watches this video would like to know as well. Thanks for watching this video to the very end. Here's to a new year and a new you. Take care.